what happens to the overall shape of the magnetic field if the conductor is bent into a loop? Let's turn the current on again and find out. If we apply the left-hand rule at different points along the conductor, we can map the magnetic field around the loop. Notice that the shape of the field resembles a donut. But if a number of identical loops are added, the resulting figure is called a helix or coil. Looking at the coil in cross-section, we'll represent electrons flowing away from us as X's. And here at the bottom, electrons flowing towards us as dots. Applying the left-hand rule for conductors to each turn of the coil, we can begin to build a picture of the magnetic field around the coil as a whole. Since the distance between the turns of the coil is very small, we might think that the fields would overlap like this. But this is not the case. Magnetic fields do not overlap. Instead, the field of one interacts with the field of the other to produce a combined field like this. If we examine the area between two of the terms, we can see that the two interacting fields effectively cancel each other. This field interaction occurs between each of the terms of the coil, resulting in an overall field which surrounds the terms and resembles a somewhat flattened oval. The same oval pattern is produced at every point around the coil. And it's the merging of all these ovals that forms the magnetic field for the entire coil. Since the field direction of each oval is the same, then in the center of the coil, cancellation does not occur. And that portion of the field is very strong. There is also no cancellation outside the coil, but because the field is spread out, it is much weaker here. The relationship between the direction of electron flow in the conductor and the direction of the field in the center of the coil is given by another left-hand rule, the left-hand rule for coils. This time, the fingers curl in the direction of electron flow and the thumb points in the direction of the field within the coil or to the end of the coil that acts as a north pole. The fingers curl with the current and the thumb points north. If we compare the magnetic field of the coil with the field of a bimagnet, we can see that the shapes are nearly identical. Each has a north and south pole. But an ordinary iron bar has no magnetic force. What then happens if we insert this bar into a coil with current flowing through it?